but uh, yeah I've been out now walking for two days and uh, yeah so I left uh, <laughs> the town uh, by, by sunrise I just like I got the idea like to leave a few, few hours before and then I just left at sunrise I was like hey it's time to leave and I filled up my water bottle I had uh, like the guy gave me 20 rice that I was hanging out with because he just wanted to give it to me and I was talking so much about like science and about the world not being real and everything and then he was like because he took me to a restaurant him and his girlfriend and then he uh, he said he took it as a sign that the guy would have like accept this 20 rice and he was like okay it's a sign to give it to you he, he thought that and then yeah he gave it to me <laughs> and uh, yeah it was really really nice of him I spent 10 of it on like some, <laughs> some chocolate and cigarette and I had 10 left and then uh, yeah so I started walking with my 10 rice I, I drank a, a, a ton of water I could filled up my water bottle and I started walking I had no idea like where I would walk I didn't know what it would look like I just knew like okay I'm just gonna start walk, walking north and yeah this experience has been amazing and you know for a few days like I was without food for a couple of days Hey man, yeah, I think today is the day, man. I think t to no, I mean tomorrow. <laughs> I think tomorrow is the day that I'm I'm leaving. It looks like it. Uh, it looks like it is tomorrow. It's uh, yeah, it's just gonna be me, just me and the big unknown, me in Brazil. I'm looking to get on the the road that goes like northeast towards Bahia. Just so stay here. And from then on, I people keep telling me like I keep talking to telling people about these plans, and they're like, "Oh, you should go to this town, this town." I'm like, "No, there's no destination. It's just the, uh, it's just unknown. You know, wherever the road takes me, whatever the wind takes me, and uh, we'll see." Oh, but it's gonna be really nice to hit the road, man. Really nice. I thought it was just my plan was to, to like uh, just go north and just see where the road takes me. And then uh, I, I chose a road. I looked at Google Maps, and uh, everybody says like to go. Everybody says Bahia or Nordeste, but everybody says Bahia, which is a state here with a lot of beaches. And then like two days ago, I was speaking to a guy, uh, and um, he told me like, oh, go there and there and there. I, was, I just went to a rat. I was like. I don't have a destination. I don't want to say, I don't care how many places you tell me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Like, I told him all this. And, like, I was really, like, passionate. But still, he kept telling me places. I'm like, hmm, maybe I should listen. Maybe I should go to Bahia. So now, um, yeah, I'm looking to go to uh, to Bahia. So I should, yeah, I'm looking to, to go to the beach in Bahia. Hey, so I, I, I just got to the gas station um, where I'm going to start hitchhiking. And I, I was thinking at the on the on the bus ride, bus ride over, uh, about yeah, like the things you said and like your reaction to 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 my whole situation. And my first reaction was like because I learned that like whenever someone questions what I'm doing, like I don't I don't defend myself. I just let them think whatever they want uh, because. There's, there's like no reason and if I defend defend it, I just, I don't know, I just get dragged down. And so I'm like, you know, whatever, just like think whatever you want, it's like my reaction. But then I started thinking and I'm just asking myself like, you know, maybe, maybe you should ask yourself if I'm actually onto something, you know? Instead of trying to like, instead of trying to, to, to change what I'm doing and trying to just like telling me what to do, and how I should live my life and how I should think about money, this and that. Like maybe you should ask yourself is if, if I'm actually onto something. Like if a guy wakes up in the middle of the night in a field in Brazil when it's pouring down rain and he still doesn't question what he's doing and he still doesn't feel sorry for himself and like maybe, maybe that's that's someone you should actually be like, hmm, yeah, maybe it's onto something. 
like I haven't even pushed this on you, you know. I just been I just been sharing it with you. I haven't told you anything you need to do. I haven't told you anything how you need to change your life, you know. Like you live your life the way you want to. You think about the money the way you want to. I just been sharing my experience, you know. I haven't been pushing it on you. But you keep pushing pushing like your way of looking at life on me, like wanting me, expecting me to live the way the life the way you want to. You know? Yeah, it is scary. Like here I am now at the gas station. Instead of asking people, I'm, I'm off at you. Like I was off. I was starting getting off. And like I said, I was. My first reaction was like, you know, just be like, okay, whatever. I'm not even gonna defend myself. Think what you want. But then, I was getting on the way over, and it started getting to me, because it is scary. You know, I'm gonna go somewhere now, where obviously I've never been. Like I said, I barely speak the language. I'm gonna show up in Bahia and I don't know when I'm running out of money. You know, I have very little left. Should I say that I'm not worried about it? Like, yeah, I am scared, but also like, I'm so caught up in the moment that I'm just going with it, you know? But like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show up in Bahia and very soon, very, very soon, I'm gonna run out of money. And I haven't hitchhiked in years, you know? I don't know what it's like to hitchhike in Brazil, you know? I don't even look things up. Like, I don't even, I don't even look at information anymore. I don't look at YouTube. I don't do, I don't look for information because I, all I care about for the past few weeks is like, what is around me, you know? Like what I'm surrounded by. You know, I don't need to look for information about like hitchhiking because I just follow, I'm, I'm just like doing what is right in the moment, you know? I'm, I have no idea how I'm gonna, like what way is gonna find out. But obviously something has happened to me if I have that much faith or at least like I act like I do, you know? At least like I just throw myself in the completely unknown, you know? And just confront, uh, would I say fear? Like, yeah, it, it is scary, but it's like most of the time I'm just, I'm so caught up in the moment. I'm just going with what feels right, you know? And like I said, like you keep talking about money, 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 money. Like all of this is about money. Like it's not actually about money, you know? But like a part of this is about money because it has to like, it has to in a way start there. And I know I have to confront this thing of like being without money, just, you know, I don't want to say it because, but I've been thinking that I need to go through like not having it to see that I'm fine. I don't want to say it because I don't want to disrespect, you know, whatever, like the powers there are like in the universe behind this or whatever you want to call it, you know, like I don't want to expect it, you know, like most of the time, like I'm just so grateful for what I have and I don't even ask for anything. Like I don't, I feel, I feel like I don't need anything, you know, there's nothing like I need to find. There's nothing I need to like, there's nothing life needs to give me that I, that I don't already have, you know, and like, isn't that clear from like, if I wake up in the middle of the night, it's pouring down rain. And even when it first, and like, isn't it clear? Like if I go, I'm about to go hitchhiking and I don't even have like proper shoes for the rain. I don't even have anything to cover me from the rain. Like maybe, maybe the guy's onto something. And if it starts raining and I still feel like I wake up, I'm sleeping like a baby. I feel so good and it's raining and I'm like, I don't even care, like I'm so comfortable here, I just wanna keep sleeping until I will get waking up from the pouring rain. And still when that happens, I'm just in the moment and not even questioning this that I'm doing, you know? I was at a bar and then was these girls talking and they were like putting all these like worries in my head, you know? Doing all this like, oh, but what if this happened, that happened? It's like, you can't live like this. And like, people are not always good, you know? And then I started defending myself from it. And then I just got dragged down to that, where it's like, I don't know, I just felt like And now I was thinking like, I don't, I don't wanna get dragged down by you, you know? I don't, and it's not what I need when I'm about to go do, do this, uh, do this very scary thing. Oh, but, but also like, I don't wanna have anything to prove. I don't want to have anything proved by this. And like I said, this eventually, like, this is not about money. It's like, but it's about, like, operating from other place, you know? And I'm open to, I'm open to anything. I'm very open to the idea of, like, a lot of money coming my way. But I just don't think it has to come 
from like having to plan it all out you know it can come money can come to you in so many ways and this is not about not having money like i can see myself man i've been thinking like i could become a millionaire tomorrow and i also been thinking like i don't know if i care i don't know if i need it you know and also maybe that's a guy you should listen to it's like who's like fine whether he has it or not i just feel like money would it would it would be nice like to have a lot of money you know but i'm not sure if i even need it you know but yeah like i said i just feel like this maybe this is something i have to go through to, like experience that i've been thinking that maybe like the point of this is like find myself like really vulnerable maybe find myself really hungry maybe go through all this like like i went through yesterday of like or for for two nights of like being in this like like miserable situation like wet and cold at night and not like not sleeping you know or like waking up or whatever and i've been thinking that maybe that's what i needed to go through to like experience that and, and just feel it fully without trying to change it you know and without trying like thinking about it but like just like go through it fully you know and maybe it's the same thing with like i need to go through something without having money you know like being really go going really hungry you know for whatever reason maybe to to understand what people in that situation go through perhaps uh or yeah or or to just like drop all fear because i'm fe- i'm afraid of like finding myself here in brazil like not you know like whatever that may be you know going hungry or you know like feeling all that fear of like being in yeah like in a in a foreign country in a third world country and and going through that and maybe i just need to go through that and just find myself in it and just feel it fully and just you know just just feel it fully and, and just embrace it uh or whatever until i can like move on to something else and and once i've had it you know i've been thinking that then i can move on and like embrace everything but like i like I don't need like honestly I don't need your advice on money I really don't because I'm not gonna you know like then then like whatever I choose from that point you know it's like it's gonna come from that point and then you know then I can come need something completely different and then I don't know I've been thinking that all these things can just you know come to me you know and I don't think you necessarily have to like be thinking logically and making all these plans but you know you can let go and then these things can 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 uh, yeah can uh, can come to you but like people really don't get it you're not the only one she keeps asking me all this question like would it be nice for a job and then i sent her video like i'm smoking a cigarette right now right now i just asked the guy for a ride it's like i'm just thinking about now like i'm smoking a cigarette you know and then uh, people asking all this question i'm like I'm smoking a cigarette. And like I don't have to I don't have to think about, you know, food tonight. It's like right now I'm here, I'm smoking a cigarette. I'm asking some people and if I get a ride, I get a ride. If I don't, you know, if I'm still here, then I will take it as it comes, you know? And yeah, if he's happy to give me food, he gives me food. You know, then I will think about it then. W W J D What would Jonas do? Well, he would sleep here on his broken air mattress. I'm at the gas station now, and um, yeah, so, like I'm, uh, I feel like a you know like a complete wreck uh to be honest my my cheeks are even like shaking you know like like they're trying to like rid themselves of anxiety it's a long time i've had that you know i don't know if you've experienced that when your body like w- your face wants to like it was a long time you did that but your face wants to like get rid of tension by like shaking uh but yeah, I feel like absolutely and I uh, I'm really tired. 
you know um yeah i didn't yeah i didn't get much sleep i don't know maybe it's like too much and maybe now here i am like i'm about to start this hitchhiking and i kind of asked for um i don't know i kind of asked to be put like in a very very difficult situation to to go through something i need to go through you know and um yeah i wonder if that's what's happening now i came uh, Yeah, I came last night in the middle of the night I came to the gas station and then I was just like I think I went through like some kind of process or some kind of procedure it felt like I went through some kind of ritual in a way of like preparing myself and then I was really tired I got like one and a half hour of sleep and uh, yeah then the guy a guy let me sleep inside of the restaurant and then He woke me up at like 6:30 and I went to sleep and then I was like I was too tired to do this and then I went to sleep and now I slept like 3 hours but actually my air mattress has broken that they I changed yesterday uh so yeah, I was sleeping here on the asphalt and I think I like when I packed it up I was just like not careful with the air I think that's what it was I don't know, but it's just super scary or overwhelming because I'm and now in this uh, you know, I got to start hitchhiking. I mean, I I got to go through this like I like I asked to be to be faced with this. I felt like that's what I needed with like the no money going like hitchhiking this way. So I feel like this is this is what I got to ask for like this right now, but yeah, it's like super hard. I don't know how to live with it <laughs> to be honest. Hey man. So uh it's a lot of up and down. I'm f-ing cold. I got caught in the rain. I didn't really I got this to protect me and I pulled it over me, but I didn't really pay too much attention. Uh and then it was like pouring down. So now everything is like kind of wet. My shirt is wet. Um my stuff are wet. Um, I'm cold. Uh, yeah. My shoes are wet. I made a friend, Alex. Hey, Alex. He doesn't. He only speaks Portuguese. In, in video. In video. Alex, tá junto aí. Alex, me comprei uma café. Eu não vou falar nada porque é preferível não falar nada. Não, ele é preferível né? não, não falar. Mas diz que todo preto tem que ter seu seu branco ou todo branco tem que ter seu preto. Nós estamos aí. O que deve é. Yeah, my phone is fine. I keep it in my pocket. Uh, I'm not gonna lie though. I would love uh, I would love some sun today. And. Uh, I would love somehow to make it to Bahia. I was there was uh, nobody yesterday going like in that direction. Uh but yeah, I would love I would love for someone to come. Um Yeah, I'm sitting here like with my socks. So I got yeah, I got some dry socks. My my shirt is a little bit wet. <laughs> Put on dry and then I walk a little bit in the rain. I I don't know how my, my computer is doing. I shouldn't be carrying it around like this. That's so good. So, yeah, this morning I was feeling complete shit, and then like I gathered myself and I was sitting there for some time and yeah, I was sitting there and then I was thinking that even in that situation, uh, it, it doesn't matter but uh anyway, <laughs> so I came I came back to the this this place uh like the cafeteria at the gas station and the first guy i spoke to I asked him where he's going and I asked if he has space or if i can if he can go with me he said he doesn't have any space and then i didn't mention anything about food i didn't say i was hungry i didn't say anything about money we talked for a little bit 
uh, in like um, in Portuguese. And uh, then he asked me, "Are you have you have you eaten?" And I said, uh, "I said no." And he said, uh, "Yeah." He offered me a meal. And then we sat down together. We ate him, me and his son. And then the the staff were telling him, "Just take as much as you want." And then uh, they's like, "You pay pay per kilo." And then when the guy left and paid, the staff the the staff came up to us like, "Yeah, just take as much as you want, even if you pay per kilo." And uh, and then he was talking to me, saying that he just came here two weeks ago uh, with uh, uh, like with almost nothing, and he found a job, and he said that I can ask in the cafeteria uh, for a job. <laughs> I slept actually last night from um, uh, from like eight to six, uh, so I really needed that because. The night before, I had barely slept at all, uh, so it was really good. And actually, the air mattress was working. I just accidentally I slept like with the the ven ventilation, like the air blower, the where you put the air in. I had put it um, uh, like under under me. So yeah, uh, that's why they were now. So I slept like really nice last night, and it's so nice to have. Uh, yeah, I got the shoes on now. Uh, yeah, it's it's really good. And uh, yeah, with the I could cover myself because it was pouring down, so I could I could sleep, uh, which was really really nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually I was gonna say some more things, but I'm actually going now. I found my first ride. I was here for um, I've been here since I was here two nights actually at this gas station, and they were so nice. They gave me uh, they gave me food and everything. Like I got a meal from a guest yesterday, and then another one from the guys working here. And then breakfast today and they keep giving me coffee so it's really nice and now I finally um, yeah I finally got the ride uh, to Ipatinga uh, which is four hours away towards Bahia so I'm going there now so I have to end the message oh and by the way I just want to add with all this food and everything you gave me I never once asked uh, for anything which is offered except except for the ride <laughs> I asked for that Aqui em Brasil, cidade de Valadares, eu me chamo Adriano, apelido de vizinho. Estou aqui com meu amigo aqui, Jonas, da Suécia, fazendo um passeio aqui de carreta, aqui, ó. Com destino a Comorumbixaba, praia da Bahia. E olha que quiser vir para cá, só entrar em contato com o amigo aí, tomei para ajudar, beleza? Uh, but yeah, I'm really good. Uh, had a really, really nice ride. Uh... Yeah, it was so nice. I asked, first I kept asking people like, if you know the Bahia, which is really far. And then I said a city, like four hours away, because it's better to do, it. I mean, it's normally it's good to ask for like one, two hours away or something. And uh, yeah, that was like the next bigger city. So I asked for that, he said yes. And then uh, uh, he was like, I said, I'm going to Bahia. It's like, I can take you there. And then he said, Recife, I was like, I was like, hmm. And then he said, uh, yeah, like it's, uh, it's, it's safer. And I was like, okay, let's go there. And then uh, I was thinking like, but I really wanna, yeah, I actually really wanna go to Bahia and I wanna go to, to this place. For me, like, it's so very clear that like nobody has the answers for everyone else, you know? And like what we need is, like it's, it's never like, I don't know how to say that, it's never, like it's not the same, the same thing for one person or other. It's not the same thing from, even one day to the other, you know? And it's not the same from like one year to the other. I want to be very careful what I ask for. Uh, is it really like about going, you know, without money? But I really feel like that's what I need to do. And it's just like, when your reaction is like, oh, that's bad, like, no, 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 you have to do this. I'm like, what are you talking about, you know? <laughs> My reaction is like, what are you talking about? Because it's like, who knows what's gonna come out of this? No, who knows? Like, first of all, I'm growing so insanely much, like all the time. And I'm learning so much, it's incredible. Like, I'm learning so much Portuguese because I'm talking to people like in Portuguese and a lot of time I don't really understand what they are saying, you know, and sometimes I do. Um, like today I've had many conversations in, uh, in Portuguese with some people like, I have a really hard time understanding them. But I, it keeps getting better and better and better. It's very, like different with different people, but I'm picking up more and more. 
Uh, so that's like one thing, but it's also it's more in like human, uh, you know, what human interaction. There was a guy who walked up to me, and like he was walking, he like looked like a yeah, quite like a hobo, had like a walking stick, had like no clothes on, and I was just like, hey, what's up? And then quite quickly I got the vibe that he's not a person I should trust. It's really not. Like I was like, okay. And then when he started talking about his life, I'm like, okay, like he's a, he's actually a thug. Uh, he was talking about, and I learned like about like, like uh, it was very interesting, like uh, learning about like begging money, you know. Uh, not that it's like, not not like I'm just like interested in it, you know. Like I'm, it's it's interesting to learn about like this culture, you know, how to do these things. And he was talking about like how much money they make, you know. But the interesting thing about like meeting him was that, like first. How could I like spotted it earlier? Like, like just by watching it, watching him, like looking into his eyes and be like, okay, this is a person I should look out for. Because if it was, I would have just like, I would not have walked with him, you know? And about the begging, like well, last time I was homeless, when I did like three months without money. Uh, so I had the same experience, like right before running money, I was like stressed. Now I'm not really stressed about it, like, but it's like, yeah, it's obviously a bit annoying to still have money because now like I go to the bar and I, I drink a beer. But like, as soon as I had no money, I felt a relief. It's like, okay, now I can only let go. I don't have to think about it. I experimented with begging for money, but I did it for the experiment. Like when I was living that money, I even turned down money people gave to me because I wanted to like make the money myself, you know? And uh, yeah, and I tried it just for the experience, you know, just for what it was like, like I wanted to go all the way. And I gave away the money that I got from begging. And then it also hit me like, yeah, maybe I will. I will write a book about this experience. You know, I'm, I'm not writing anything now, but I have all these conversations, like with you and with some other people, and expressing these ideas. And I could, like, in a in a, you know a couple of months, I could take all these conversations and maybe I could turn it into something. You know, like some kind of book of some kind, or you know, whatever. Like on the base of these conversations. Yeah, it's like very clear. So it's like, yeah, like so much so much that I'm gaining from this and so much I'm learning and so then for anybody else to come and say like no you have to do it this way and it goes the same way with everybody that's why I just like I can't tell anybody else what to do either and nobody can tell me what to do but now almost the time has come to go to Kumuru Shatiba it's almost like you know uh, in the Shashank Redemption if you've seen it uh, like when he's about to go to leave the prison and he tells uh, Morgan Freeman, uh, Red, he tells him like, go to this place in Mexico at the beach, it's a magical place and go find me there. And then it has like this ring to it, you know, just like Kumuru Shatiba. I, I should, you know, try to get a ride, but instead I'm here at the bar drinking beer with my very last money, <laughs> very, very last. I got 56 krona on my Revolut account and 7 krona on my Swedbank account and zero money in my wallet. Today was a, a very ineffective day for me to like getting to Bahia. I came, uh, I think it was like, yeah, it was like 8 o'clock in the morning. And so yeah, it's been like 13 hours or something. And I barely like, barely done so, so little hitchhiking. Because first I like went to get a coffee and then I started walking towards like where I could hitchhike and then I tried to get tobacco and then I saw that the place was like outside town. I walked there and then I got it and then I walked around a little bit like looking for a, a wool shirt and uh, I didn't find it because I was looking for it. And then I, I went to eat. I was sitting for a long time. I had a buffet for, yeah, it was 16 euros, like, you know, 16 rice, all you can eat. So, you know, it's like two point maybe like 2.5 euros something like that a little bit more like all you can eat like imagine and uh, yeah after that I walked all the way like across town I walked to where I would hitchhike and then I was like they told me it's not working I said I was going to a restaurant and it was closed and I met this weird guy and I walked back I was gonna go to the gas station and then it's like yeah I'm just gonna like have one beer have like something small to eat and then I was sitting there like until now <laughs> and like now I'm actually like starting to hitchhike uh, so yeah, I kind of feel like it's gonna be, yeah, like it's gonna be easier once once I, uh, like, or in one way, like once I'm out of money, then I can't, I can't waste all this time, you know, because then it's like only like, okay, 
if I need to hitchhike, it's like go, 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 you know, like it's more like focus. I can't waste this all the time. I can't go to a bar. I can't go to like a restaurant. I can't go anywhere, but it's like more like focused on what I, you know, what I really need to do, what I really want to do. Yeah, I think there's like this uh, expectation of hitchhiking because the people who do it. Um, I think people don't normally talk about like all these stays you do. Uh, but I think most people do it are like more efficient than me, you know. Uh, but from what I remember when I did in Europe, like I never, I never waited so much time. Like, okay, now I only waited at one place. Okay, it was two nights. And then here I haven't done so much, so I can't really say. But yeah, I think people are like more efficient and like more, like motivated to go fast, you know. But I think I should probably find somewhere to sleep actually soon because I slept um, in the in the <laughs> I slept with the truck driver. It was like on the bed. And I was in the in the passenger seat, so I was just sitting up sleeping. So, and it was like for just a few hours, you know. But I would love to find one ride. It doesn't have to go far, but just uh, to get out of town because I, I don't know where I would sleep here actually. Um, I don't want to sleep in town and I would have to walk for like an hour or something and I I don't really want to like walk around here at night so it would be really nice to find a ride at least one that just go to the countryside or whatever but like one thing I appreciate like about what I'm going through now uh, like <laughs> I'm really hungry and like I feel the sun you know now it's like getting cloudy um, and I, I don't have a lighter and uh, yeah so if I, I need to smoke then I have to like I, I can't smoke as much like I think I think it's good and uh, I have to I have to ask someone to get a lighter and I was walking around like asking so many people for it and nobody had it and then people were, like sort of like they're like no you like you give me this reaction like no you bum you know because I feel I don't know it's like I don't know I feel very weak <laughs> but then I asked one guy and he like he was working in like a mechanic shop and uh, he pulled up like this thing where um, this this they used you know from for metallics like this 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 flame he had that like light my cigarette it was like a really nice gesture so it's like it makes you like really appreciate you know and just you know just like someone giving you just in the smallest thing it's like you know you really yeah you, it's like more you get like more appreciated of everything you get and then after all of this like you know once someone picks me up it's gonna be like wow like this is such an amazing person you know because after all this I, uh, I was on a ride now, I came to Bahia. Uh, I just walked past a truck and uh, like he was uh, on his phone and I asked uh, where he's going. And then, uh, yeah, I had a really nice ride with him. Uh, yeah, it was since I left the shop and I just arrived. So I don't know how long time, time that ride was. Uh, but it was quite a good ride. I haven't checked how, how close I am to my destination, but I'm, I'm quite close. I'm quite close. Uh, I don't know exactly how long, I will look. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm quite close to it. I'm not really by the beach. Uh, he offered to take me to, to a beach by no north of here, but uh, I really want to go to that place now. Man, five euros. Man, ten euros. Wow, that would have been so nice to have. That would have been so nice. Uh, actually, I have in my wallet and I'm saying this, uh, you know, for the book. Uh, I actually gave away my last money. Or I was giving away a lot, like all the time. Uh, I'm saying it for the book, you know. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I, w I was down to like six euros and ten cents. And uh, I asked, I said, uh, I have one ten because I wanted to give away the five to someone. And then I asked, like, can I have this car for one ten? It was one fifty. Or I said like, I only have one ten. And he was like, yeah, okay. And he gave it to me. So then he gave me the cup. And so he gave me the, he was like, yeah, okay, no problem. Like, you know, he didn't mind, he, I could have it one ten. And then I had the coffee in a, in a, in a cup. 
a glass cup in the park and uh, and then I was like okay I want to give my last five to him he's really nice and so I gave him a tip of five rice so I have nothing left no cash I have uh, uh, 45 cents left uh, on my swell bank my Swedish account and I used my last money uh, like almost my last money to send uh, a gift to my friend in Sweden and I'm saying this for the book you know not to make myself you know sound good or anything but I send a I wanted to send like a tris lot to my friend uh, in Sweden uh, who, who lent me some money before and I just paid all of it back uh, so I want to make that gesture and then I put 25 on my Swedish account and then it was uh, actually 30 so I could only buy him like a 10, uh, 10 ticket and so I sent him that and then I bought I only had, had 10 left and I bought myself a ticket because I thought okay like if uh, whatever it is thinks I should have money then uh, I might win some but yeah I was supposed to go without money so I didn't win and yeah so I have 45 uh, 0.45 Swedish krona in my uh, on my Swedish bank account and then on my Revolut account I was really happy now that I checked because uh, I was like I realized what that means I have 8.95 krona which is like five six free eyes or something and that means I can get actually I can pay, pay with my phone and I can get a, a few uh, coffees with that, uh, which is really nice. So if I end up catching a ride here tonight, if I end up going to uh, Kumurasha Tiba, or it's called, uh, then I wake up tomorrow. I can have uh, I can have coffee, or here if I wake up here. Yeah, right now uh, I think. Um, yeah, I think. Um, I'm gonna ask people. Well, right now I'm sending this message to. You. No, but I think actually, yeah. Right now I think I'm gonna. Um, yeah, I was thinking of asking for rights, uh, but I'm gonna see if there's like a person that. I think I'm gonna see if there's like a person that I feel like I wanna go with, and ask that, or someone I think I should go with. Uh, yeah, then I think. I think I will ask them, I think. Yeah, I see two cars now, but I don't, yeah, I don't feel like asking them, actually. The three ones, I don't feel like asking that one either. Um, yeah, so I, I didn't ask anybody, and then I realized I wanna, I want to go, there's some fields nearby, uh, some like farmer's fields and stuff, so I realized I want to sleep uh, on a field, it's such a nice night under the stars so i'm sitting now uh, on like a little grass passage between uh between like two little sort of like they grow something i think or whatever but it's like a little passage um so it's really nice because i realize i want to get to that watch 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 <laughs> i don't know what that town is called i can't remember but i want to yeah, I really want to get there, like, not at night, but I'm going to get there just, like, during the day. Um, so that's why, and it was, like, it's, it seems so nice to just go sleep here under the stars. So I walked here, and I'm going to sleep in the morning. Uh, yeah, and then in the morning I'm going to, I can't have coffee there because it didn't work to pay with that. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be really nice to then catch like a nice ride, get there in the day, so perfect. A drink is so easy, it's so easy, I mean, just water everywhere. Um, gas stations always have like, uh, like drinkable water. And um, yeah, there's like many places you can find it. Uh, today I was at a bar and they gave me like, um, a bar, like they have some drinkable water in like a, a carafe. And they gave me, fill up my bottle with. Yo, what up? Uh, so uh, I'm back at the I'm back at the gas station now, <clears throat> and I think uh, yeah, this is um, basically my first day of uh, really like properly moneyless. I looked at my sweat bag account, and I was like down to 0.33. I don't know what happened to the 0.12. I think maybe they steal it. And then uh, now when I came to the gas station, it was 8.95 krona, and now I bought a coffee for two reais. So it's like three something. Uh, so it was more than a third. 
So which means that here <laughs> I can buy one more coffee and then I can find like then a lot of time it's like one real, so I could probably find somewhere mm, to buy it with like so I, I got one more coffee here then I got like one last coffee somewhere uh, and then I'm really out of money and yeah I'm like actually like I'm excited about it because I spend so much time uh, just so much time like you know like I buy a coffee or like I get a cigarette or I buy a snack or or just some little food you know like whenever and I think it's like whenever I get like I get restless uh, or yeah like restless or feel a little bit stressed then like I have to always have something and always you know and that's why I'm so that's why I spend so much money like when I'm in Sweden you know and why yeah like why I don't manage to save because I just like I'm so I just go like every urge I just feel like I have to to feel it you know so it would be really good because then I can't I can't go buy a coffee and just walking over this morning I was thinking like okay I hope I can get a coffee here because last night Apple Pay wasn't working here for some reason now it did so I was thinking like okay I want to get there I want to have a coffee I hope it works otherwise like I want to find some other place and then uh, yeah like with a cigarette and I like to not have that anymore you know and just uh, yeah yeah you know not have that and then then I can just it would be interesting to see what happens, you know, if it would be hard or if I would just be able to just like, just drop it uh, immediately. And uh, yeah, whenever I'm somewhere like, and I feel, you know, like a little bit of dip, it's like, okay, I have to fill it up now, you know. Uh, or yeah, I get a little bit restless, like, okay, I need my, I need my hit, I need my kick of some, some sugar or some nicotine or whatever. And then I will see with the cigarettes, you know, uh, if, uh, yeah, it's very likely that I will just be, you know, just be without. And then I won't have the possibility to smoke, you know, so <laughs> that would be also like really good. And uh, yeah, then uh, like for now, uh, yeah, for now, uh, this is this. And then uh, we'll see, you know, what happens if money comes my way somehow. But like I have the, yeah, I have like what I need. You know, like some things would be nice, like uh, to get like a proper tarp uh, and like a light, light tarp, for example, you know, uh, uh, would be really nice. Something I can do, do, like, yeah, especially like if I go to Rainbow, would be really nice to have like a little pocket knife. Uh, it's very handy. And uh, yeah, a couple of merino wool uh, socks would be nice. Other than that, it's like, yeah, I miss this nothing urgent, you know. That I, that, I, that I need to get. Uh, I feel like I have. Uh, I feel like I have what I need. Uh, yeah, like I uh, I don't have underwear, <laughs> for example. I I gave it away. People are so poor here, and uh, yeah, they're like even happy like accepting like your old. It's like wet underwear. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like a lot of poor people here uh, who have like really really nothing, you know. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm even uh, like downgrading my stuff a little bit now i asked for like three plastic uh plastic bags here they gave me they had like i wanted some like a little bit nicer quality and they actually yeah they had it here like three plastic bags let me find so then i can get rid of like a small backpack i have with just some you know just some random random stuff so, so that i can like have my bag organized and like a little bag for like the toilet things so i'm just gonna like put these things in like those three little bags uh, and grill those like to have, uh, yeah, be, be, be really lightweight. Uh, I actually, my phone died. Yeah, I, I started hitchhiking without battery. Uh, because, you know, sometimes you just want to be without battery. Like, you know, for example, when you hitchhike and end up in a city that you know nothing about, you don't even know how big it is. <laughs> you don't know anybody there, you have no plans. Like, you know, sometimes you just want to be without the phone. Uh, <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm a bit overwhelmed because I just came to this town now. And I came to the beach, like I reached uh, like this goal I had of coming to this town. And like I came here with no battery, like no plan. And yeah, it's a bit overwhelming. This thing, like, it's, it's, it's not about money. But yeah, there's, there's no end point to this. Like there's no, there's no accomplishment. 
uh, it's not like a, a project there's no like point where I've, I've accomplished anything it's not like I'm on a mission to it's not like okay when I have money again like I accomplish just it's just an ongoing thing you know it's just moment by moment it's just what I'm experiencing like what am I going through in this moment and I'm sharing those thoughts with you all, all these things like I like talking about it you know I like expressing it and I'm thinking like okay I'm expressing it and why not turn it into something that is like that you can show people you know I was, uh, yeah, I was feeling quite hungry and I hadn't thought about like <laughs> actually how I'm gonna get food. And then I was sitting, I was like, what do I do now? What should I do now? Because now I don't have to, before it's been like always like on the move, on the move, on the move and like with a goal to get somewhere. But I'm like, okay, but what do I do now? What do I do now? I'm like, okay, I'm actually hungry. And so how do I get food? I'm like, okay, I can't just like, because people have been giving me a lot of things. <laughs> there was actually a guy who walked, came, who, who just gave me six rice when I was hitchhiking today. And he just like, was standing like a bit away. And then he waved at me like, hey, come over here. And he said, here, have you have six euros, <laughs> six rice. <laughs> when I had, uh, yeah, when I had no money. And I hadn't even like seen him. And I was thinking before that, I was like, what would I get now? <laughs> If I had some money, like, what would I do? And I was like, okay, I was like, man, I would really like an ice cream because there was a place of ice cream. So I was like, and also like something to eat and like a coffee. And then with the six fries, I could just pay for it one place for an, <laughs> an ice cream, like a little pastel and a coffee. And uh, yeah, and like all these things people give me, I haven't mentioned once that I don't uh, have money. I only mentioned it to like uh, the, the truck driver because he kept insisting like he wanted to take my bus stop so I could take a bus. So I said, no, no. And then just like changed stuff. It's like, no, I actually like, I, I can't afford it. I don't have money. And I was thinking like, hey, if he wants to pay me for it, like it's fine, he can, but he doesn't have to like, I'm fine hitchhiking. But if he would offer me, like I would accept it. Uh, but like, of, like not, ex not expecting it at all, you know? Uh, but, uh, yeah, now I'm like, okay, now I'm like, really don't have money. I can't just like, wait for people to like, give it to me. You know, I'm like, okay, I have to ask. Because like, I can't just wait for something to come up. Like if I, like if I need it now, I should probably ask. So I went into a, a bakery and I was like, uh, do you have some food? Do you have something to eat? <laughs> and she, and I felt kind of bad about it. Cause it like, felt like begging or like it was begging. <laughs> And uh, yeah, she gave me three pieces of something was like uh, like some sort of bread, and I was like, I don't know, I just want, I wanted to give something in return because I had like Vegas. I said like, what what do you need? Uh, what do you need from me? And she was like smiling, like laughing a little bit. She was like, oh nothing at all, like just my health. I was like, okay, you sure? Like okay. And I said like thank you. I walked away. Then I felt bad because I'm begging, so I gave uh, some of it away. Like she gave me three pieces, and then. There were two guys, uh, I ate one and then I gave the second one to one guy and I thought about getting the third one, I was like, actually I, I'm still hungry, like it would be nice even though I want to eat like nutritious food, you know, I don't want to eat just like bread and I'm thinking it's better if I eat, eat like really good food uh, like it's, it's better for everybody, really, like it, it is better and so, yeah, I was like, okay, I want some nutritious food, like what do I want to eat? And I was like, I'm just gonna go to like a nice restaurant or like where I can get a proper meal and ask. And like a nicer one where they are like, you know, they are fine and they can give me like it wouldn't hurt them. So I walked to one restaurant, I'm like, I feel a little bit nervous before. When I come in, it's like perfect fine. I'm like, I'm like, hey, what's up? And I'm literally like talking with them like anyone, you know. I'm like, um, yeah, yeah, do you have something to eat? Um, I don't have money. And then she's just like, she tells me a place but I can't get on the Wi-Fi, so it's like, whatever. If you ask me to go there, 
um, whenever I walk out and then I, I'm like, I spot another restaurant I like, that, that place looks really nice. And I walk over there and uh, I I just like walk up to the guy, like the waiter, I'm like, uh, what do you guys have? And he's like, I'm gonna go get your menu. I'm like, I don't have money. And it's like, okay, one second. He walks, comes to the way, like, goes in and then he comes back inside. It's like, yeah, the chef is gonna make you something. Uh, yeah, so I, I got a meal. Uh, <laughs> it was like, they gave me some rice, beans, uh, some chicken, uh, and a small salad with like onion and tomatoes and a glass of water. Uh, but yeah, like this, this going without money, money thing, I felt like there were like some things I needed to go through and I don't know like how much more there is really. Um, like, okay, like the transportation is fine. Uh, food is fine. Um, and uh, yeah, what else? Like, yeah, I went through some really hard times with the sleeping and um, yeah, with like being wet and all that. And yeah, like it was fine. I've been through it and I processed it. And okay, one thing is like finding shelter, like finding a place to sleep because I, yeah, I like sleeping in nature, but it's more like finding a, a safe place to sleep. And I also feel like that's not really a problem or um, yeah, that's, that's still something I need to process, like kind of like talking to people and then finding a place to sleep. Uh, but also think that would be fine. Uh, and then, yeah, I think the only thing that's left is like, I think like with the smoking and always like wanting, wanting something, like now I kind of, I really want a, like a beer, which is like not necessary. Um, because, yeah, as long as I have like all my basics need met and I feel okay with that, then I can be like, okay, I think then I've, I've reached like where I want to get with, with like, um, being without money, like then I'm like really fine, like moving forward from that and really stepping into abundance with money. Uh, so yeah, it's only like, I think the only, th like one thing that's left, yeah, is like, okay, being without, being fine, like not having cigarettes, being fine, uh, like not having beers or all these things are like, I can't really go around and like asking for that and looking for that because like it's not necessary. I feel fine asking for the things that I really like actually need, you know, um, like shelter, uh, if, unless, you know, if I'm not out in nature, like if I'm here in a city, like just going off somewhere to sleep, you know, like I'd rather sleep somewhere safe. So like shelter, food, um, yeah, like transportation, which is nice, like be able to move around. But it's nice to actually like be somewhere and not like on the move uh, and not where I'm like talking like at the people at the gas station, like always sort of like needing something, you know, uh, even though I like I never asked for food, but at the gas station, one gas station, like they gave me two meals. Uh, or like they, yeah, and then they gave me breakfast as well the next morning. Uh, you know, I didn't ask for it. And then the gas station, like, was it, like two nights ago when I found that shelter, like, being like, okay, I need something. Um, whereas now it's like, I haven't talked to anyone here. I'm just, I'm just sitting here. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to be, like be around people again. Um, and yeah, I can see myself now, like just. You know, just having fun with people and uh, yeah, I can seem like, you know, I'm fine sitting here, I'm fine if like talking with them, uh, but like, yeah, it's, um, yeah, like nice to be in where I don't feel like I, you know, like I need anything from people, even though it would be nice someone offered me a place to eat, but like, I'm, yeah, it would also be fine like walking out in the forest, you know. Yeah, but I think uh, I will move on from this place actually pretty soon. Uh, I met a guy at a restaurant in uh, Belo Horizonte. 
uh, it was actually a waiter and he told me that he has um, an uncle in the city uh, who would like invite me in and then he has a fishing boat <laughs> so I was thinking like man if you could take me out his fishing boat would be amazing uh, so I'm gonna write to him tomorrow and then see yeah like if, uh, if, if, if that would happen it would be really nice and then yeah otherwise I might just move on very soon because it's a very very small place and I felt like that was it was good to to go to to a small place to start this thing where it's like feels a bit safer like now um, yeah I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna go out somewhere and sleep um, yeah which is fine like it's it's a small place and I think it's pretty safe and I can go like there was a little bit of forest and I can go sleep there um, which is really fine but like it's such a small place and I was just I was just kind of like walking around <laughs> just like walking back and forth and then there was like this group of group of friends um, or maybe I don't know yeah they're like kind of my age um, and they were just like hanging out uh, playing music and I was like walking back and forth many times and then I tried to talk to a guy who was like not open at all to talking and uh, yeah so I think it would be nice to go to like a a bigger place where I can kind of play around with this you know and just like talk to people and vibe and then kind of because I feel like yeah a lot of things are like um, I feel are like fine it's it would be nice to know that I, okay I'm I'm looked after when it comes to like shelter like it's easy to uh, to meet people who like to who like to invite me over and now when I'm just starting out like I haven't done this before um, and then it would be nice to move, would like kind of play around with it and like no pressure because I can talk to some people and then if we don't click I can move on like I don't have to be desperate um, yeah so yeah I might do that but then it's also nice to like be in a in a in a smaller place I guess to like play with these things where it's like actually safe to sleep in the forest so that there's still like no pressure because if I go to like a bigger place yeah but I think it's still uh, yeah, that part is still fine, but I will see. I will see tomorrow. A reason I'm, like I'm doing this money thing is a big part. Is like I want to just see that I'm taken care of, you know, that I'm fine, that like I'm fine without money, you know. Uh, and it's in a small place. Like I don't want to go back to the same place twice. I don't, even if they give me food, like I don't want to, you know, I don't want to like push it or overdo it. Like to go one time and ask uh, is fine, but I don't want to like. Like now, I came back to this place, same place, like use Wi-Fi, and I wouldn't want to come and ask them for food again, you know, because it was one time, it was nice, they gave me food, and then I know it's like it's okay. But yeah, I just want to like try to like keep moving forward and just play around with these things, with uh, yeah, like getting my basically getting my basic needs met, and then once I'm like fully comfortable with like uh, with like being without money and gone through what I need to go through and then I think then it's like really time to like move on to something else you know so uh, yeah I found a place to sleep man uh, I, uh, I, w I walked like into the forest to sleep uh, it was like after I sent the last message mm. man this is like now this is like the worst part like just walking around forever looking for a place and then and I have no internet connection here either and then I found like a little forest but it was like and I put up my 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 hammock and I was like I can't sleep in a hammock here with a bag like not knowing if someone would come and steal it you know so and then it wasn't a good place to put to, to sleep down you know I have uh, like the two 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 meters and 2.5 meters wide uh, just put under me you know and then like pull over me if it rains it's like the bottom part of a, of a tarp it wasn't good like anywhere to put it so i left like for something else and then it was this really creepy guy like really like he was i don't know he was like really high really drunk and uh he made me like really uncomfortable and i was like walking with him and we walked next to this um uh, i'm so tired i can't remember the name but it's it's like a house you know like a guest house of sort like uh, some kind of bed and breakfast or whatever uh, right next to the beach I walked past and these people were sitting outside and I just walked into like because the guy was like following me like he didn't like want to leave me alone and uh, and I was like okay I'll just walk in here and then just tell him like it's making me uncomfortable and then or you know like to get rid of him 
and then I walked inside and I was like really uncomfortable and then I told them that um, um, that I'm traveling they said like I asked Is there any, do you know guys know anywhere to sleep around here um, and they were like yeah here but I was like I'm traveling without money and then yeah the woman came out and then I was like really uncomfortable and then I, I wrote down like the because I didn't want the guy to hear I was like this guy is making me really uncomfortable um, and uh, yeah they speak only only Portuguese and when I'm really like uncomfortable I have a really hard time speaking Portuguese um, so I couldn't really say it either 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 but he understood and then the guy left and then we're talking and she offered to stay but now it's like a really weird situation because like it's very nice of them they let me stay for free here but I don't like her I don't like them uh, they're like very like very gossipy very very gossipy it's like they're mm, they're actually really rude <laughs> it's actually like really dis disrespectful to me uh, which is weird to say like because they're being so nice and inviting me but it's like they keep commenting on me you know they keep saying all sorts of things like I'm not there but I'm there like I say something and then they look at each other and comment on it like I'm not there you know like ah, oh my god he just said that like talking in third person and or like they, I do something and they comment on it, look at each other but it's like like I'm not there you know or like like I don't understand what they're saying like sometimes I do sometimes I'm not but you know what I mean like I'm just like this this object I don't know I just don't really feel comfortable around them uh, but they're like letting me stay here so um, like I want to be nice to them but uh, yeah it's like a weird thing to relate to you know when someone offers me um, yeah it's, 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 a, it's a weird situation <laughs> basically uh, so yeah I get that it was like very very uh, yeah I get it was like very strange for them yeah, I can't, I can't say, uh, I, don't, I don't know what's going to happen, you know, it's just, um, um, yeah, I just, I just want to take it, you know, just like one moment at a time and just, you know, see what happens, you know, like now I'm here, sitting at a cafe, I'm not sitting at their place, like drinking coffee, uh, and for now I think I just, I don't want to, like, I don't want to over, overstay, like, uh, you know, she told me like it's one night, <laughs> I thought it was a posada, you know, but yeah, she told me you can stay here for one night, and, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna ask if I can if I can wash my clothes and then I'm gonna go to the beach, have a swim. Uh, and yeah, it would be really nice to leave her my clean clothes and then yeah, just take it one moment at a time. But anyway, I can see the beach from here, <laughs> so I'm gonna go now have a swim. These people are really nice. I, I, actually, yeah, they're really nice. Uh, now, uh, yeah, they're really nice. I, I'm. Um, I was gonna. I, I was. He offered me breakfast earlier and then now I was just gonna go and ask him like uh, I was gonna say, say that I'm not gonna stay long and I'm gonna <laughs> what, like can I wash the clothes and then he offered like hey do you need to have some clothes to wash and then he say, uh, said uh, uh, that like he's gonna be out but it's fine like the door is gonna be open I like the idea more of like a, a gift based economy and uh, yeah kind of like just like giving what you can and like receiving what you need like today for example uh like right now <laughs> any food like i took man i swam in the beach it was so nice like it's so nice man to sleep here now and i realized also that i was like i said i didn't like these people but it's more to do with like me feeling like i have to play a role you know and i felt like i had to play a role yesterday because they were like giving me this and it was like hard to relate to you know and i felt like i had to like please them in some way uh, and then this morning like I dropped them and then uh, you know then it was like fine for me you know yeah like I feel good about them you know um, it's like yeah no problem you know but yeah I had a swim man it was so nice <laughs> like yeah I made it to Bahia you know? and then I took a long walk on the beach and they like got like really hot and then it's like a posada bar, I talked a bit with that guy and I realized like yeah, I really need some food. So now I'm gonna Yeah today like um, Yeah I'm gonna go around and like ask for food now. And then you know like I wanna I wanna give back as well. 
Yeah, yeah. as the guy, because he's building his own posada uh, somewhere here, like it's a, it's a small town. Uh, he's building his own. I asked him like if he needs help, you know. It would be it would be fun to like, yeah, like help out. They are building it. Uh, do what I can. And uh, yeah, like it would be a fun experience. And yeah, to like help out. So like I'm interested in you know it's like okay now we need food so I go around asking for it you know and then because first I need to like film my baby like I have everything I need now you know like the only thing I need now is 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 food like because I'm hungry and uh, yeah and just if I just get full then it's like I can I can uh, I can help him out if he if he needs my my help but yeah I like this more like gift um, yeah this gift economy. I wonder if I just want to like, maybe I just want to step into this, like live, you know, just more live in a way that is like based on like a gift based economy because the monetary system is not working. Uh, it's really not. Uh, we're exploiting the planet. We're exploiting people. Uh, it's all based on debt. Like it's not working. Like humanity needs to step into a new system. And yeah, maybe I can just, you know, like just, um, yeah, maybe I can just live that way, you know? Um, you know, live like the way I see, uh, yeah, like the way I see humanity like needs to go forward. Oh, by the way, I thought today I would, um, I thought today it would be like a day where I'm just gonna like ask for everything, where I'm just gonna like just be free from like fear from like asking, just going everywhere. Like anything I want, just, just kind of ask for it or just be like, oh man, I would, I would love that or something. And now, I was like, I was feeling hungry and I, I walked like into town, it's like very close. And I was just gonna like go to restaurants and ask. But it doesn't feel so nice, like I don't actually like, I don't like asking for it. Maybe I will change my mind, maybe I will feel like, yeah, okay, it's, it's good or whatever, or something I need to do. But like for now, I just, I didn't like it. And it's not, it's not a nice feeling to, you know, when you can only go to one place like once. Like, sure, I could go back to like the place I gave me food yesterday and maybe they'll say yes, but it's not nice. And it's not nice to come to places where they're like, oh, shit, here comes this guy, like asking, you know? And it's also not nice to be like, be out looking for something, you know? Because when I decided like, okay, I'm just not gonna, like, okay, I'm just gonna not ask for food. Then instead I was just, okay, I'm just gonna like enjoy the moment instead. Yeah, like I still have cigarettes. And I'm gonna run out of tobacco at some point, I guess. So then I'm gonna be faced with, with that, like not having tobacco. But like just sitting here with like a cigarette or even like nothing, you know? Because I'm, I'm thinking here, like I've been thinking like there's nothing really that I, that I need, you know? It feels like I have everything I need and I can just be, you know, I can just be uh, like happy, you know? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's not a nice feeling to feel like, okay, I need something, like I'm gonna ask for it and it's not nice to like be with people and they think like you need something from them either or talk to someone like you need something or be in this mindset of like okay I, I have to ask them like I have like a purpose of talking to this person blah 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 I asked one guy for water in a restaurant yesterday and it was nice like we were vibing you know like asking water is okay you know yeah even, even asking food could be okay I guess uh, so you know I'm, I'm, uh, you know if the moment comes my turn but uh, today I passed him again and I didn't, I didn't drink water, I didn't want to drink the water from the people I was staying with because they're like paying for it and I don't want to like take too much, you know? So I asked him and he didn't have any water and I said like, do you know anywhere in a place where I can find water so I don't have to run and ask him for it? And he told me there's like this, um, this, there's, there's this trail that starts and there's a, there's a water fountain there with like drinkable water. So I got that problem sort of with the water. Uh, but it's like nice vibing with him, you know? It's like different going back to the place but it's still, it's okay, like I can, I go there like sit outside, use the Wi-Fi, I think it's fine. But it's just like nicer to like vibe with people when uh, you're not this person who's like coming for, asking for something. So very interesting, last night, the guy was very good to me. He was like very, very good to me. Yeah, he was like, do you want to do laundry? Uh, and then uh, um, when I left, he, he just gave me like all of their cookies. Like, I don't know why, but they eat cookies for breakfast, like. <laughs> And give me a lot, like I have a big bag. And then I think I thought I lost my ladder, and maybe I did. I was asking, like, because 
him and his friend like they they got, went to town and they gave me a ride and then and then we said goodbye like he gave me a light, his lighter so like he was very very nice to me but with the girl like it was a bit strange it was, <laughs> it was kind of strange so i came back and then i was there and then like i i didn't know i, st I still hadn't thought about like where to sleep yeah it was i don't know it was maybe like nine or something i don't know something like that so i came there and I don't know, like, I was just, um, you know, kind of kind of see if, um, yeah, if, she, if I could stay there or whatever, but, yeah, like, it, it'd be nice, it's nice to just stay with people that actually want you there, you know, not, like, just being nice. I, I came there and, um, and, uh, yeah, I hadn't eaten all day. <laughs> I think she came, like, just before me. And then we're sitting down and then she asked me, like, if I ate today, and I said no. And then she asked me what I did today, and yeah, we had like a little conversation on Google Translate. Like when I'm, I haven't eaten all day, I can't really, like I can't really think. Like my thoughts, my thoughts, or like my Portuguese, like kind of goes when I didn't eat all day. Uh, and we didn't talk much. And then at some time, she didn't propose to, to like stay. So I was like, okay, yeah, okay. I mean, I get it. Like I'm, I'm leaving, you know. And so I, I went out to take my clothes off, clothes that were in the in the laundry. And uh, yeah, I started packing. But yeah, when I, w I was packing, I actually found uh, uh, sardines in my, my my bag. I forgot about it because mm, I couldn't I couldn't eat it. Uh, I I couldn't eat it before because it, like you had to have like a can opener. So I ate that there. But so yeah, the guy was really nice, and then he took me into town, and then <laughs> uh, they like he dropped me in in the center, <laughs> and within three minutes, I think maybe like three minutes. Uh, a woman offered me a place to stay. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just walked into the park. I mean, it was like immediately, it may not even be three minutes. I walked into the park, sat down. She looked at me, she started talking to me. I was like, oh, let me come close. I sat down. And then, like, within a minute of speaking, she was like, uh, asked me where I'm sleeping. And then she told me I could stay. Yeah, I said, uh, I mean, she offered, like, she had some kind of, some kind of, it was like hostel bed and breakfast or whatever. I was like, uh, yeah, but I don't have money. And then she said I can do it for exchange. Uh, so I, I work four hours and I'm staying back. Like, yeah, that, that sounds good. Uh, then she got like really, really pissed drunk. She was like 60 or something, like really, really drunk. And it got later and later and then like at two. Uh, him and this guy I talked to, like he was really nice. But I don't get it, like, it was re like really, really vibe. Uh, and and then the, the two, you know, I don't know, but the two of them is left. Or, or they, they say, um, yeah, but there's like, maybe there's like other people going there, whatever, but it's like all kind of up in the air and it's, I don't know. Yeah, there was some other people going in the car. Um, and I don't know if it was the same bar. I don't, I'm not sure if it was, I don't know. I came there, I didn't see them. And then when I came there, it was like two o'clock in the morning. It was on the beach. I was like, man, this, I don't feel like just hanging, hanging around, you know, like waiting for a bed. Uh, so I walked on the beach and yeah, I had like a, it was really nice to sleep there. I didn't sleep much. It was very late and then I woke up by the sun <laughs> and then I had a swim. So I'm sitting uh, using Wi-Fi, it's like a cafe. And there's this woman next to me who bought, um, yeah, there's like, uh, there's a woman next to me and there's like this young Brazilian guy. And then first we sat down, so like, it's okay if I sit here and then talk for a little bit. She, she spoke to me in English speaks like a little bit of English and then um, there was this guy and after some time she said like I asked him like is it good because he didn't like had a like a coffee a really nice coffee like a um, cafe de leche or something like that cafe de leche and then um, something to eat and I asked him like is it good and then she said that she bought it for him because he doesn't have money and I'm sitting there thinking like hmm, should I say something <laughs> I'm like hmm and a little bit of time passed and I'm like I don't have money either actually, look at her and smile and she was like oh, and, but she didn't, she didn't understand what I said so I think that was a, it was a sign maybe of some sort but it's very it's very interesting this thing of like uh, yeah like how much do you actually need uh, because yeah like, like with my problem with money comes down to or that, that I've always had with money you know is that I'm, I'm such a sucker for like constantly like whatever urge I have you know and it's like coming down to this like what do you need obviously I don't need cigarettes uh, coffee the same thing I don't need 
uh, snacks that I need, something like uh, like a quick food, like do I need that? But then also like do you have to only eat what you need? Or can you also like consume, to what extent can you consume like, you know, just like to fill the urges, you know? Like where's the extent? Like all the time? That doesn't sound good. Never? Uh, maybe? And then also this question of, like now I'm sitting next to her, I'm like, I would love it if she bought me like coffee and and, uh, and a breakfast, you know. But it's like I don't want to just like talk into her for like that reason, or you know, like I don't even want to like think about it. But like it's there, so I have to think about it. And then, if you need something, you ask for it. If it's something you like, you don't need but you want. And like, where's the, you know, where's like the, where's the line between like something that you, something that you want and something that you need. And yeah, exactly, food as well, actually, uh, even though you're being sarcastic. Uh, to what extent? Like, how long time uh, do we go? Like, do we need food as soon as we start, like, feeling like we need a little bit of food? You know, water is like, water is, is, is very, like, basic, you know. But, like, what time do you need, like, okay, now we really need water? It's like, but that's a lot faster. But food, like, you, you know, you, you can actually go longer time. It's possible. But man, I'm, I, I still haven't, I haven't eaten today. And uh, yeah, there's some like biscuits that the guy gave me uh, yesterday. Oh, and he gave me some jam too, I forgot. I could, I could eat that. Uh, but, and then yesterday I only ate like that, uh, that kind of sardines. Uh, I'm really feeling it, man. I feel, yeah, I'm really feeling like they're not eating. Uh, like very like lightheaded, uh, feeling very strange, and uh, yeah, like I was talking to some people and like I really, I really feel it, but I'm just going with it, you know. Uh, this is what it is right now, and uh, man, I spent some time like I was talking to this guy, like um, uh, this uh, this young guy uh, who sleeps like on the beach and everywhere, and he has like no stuff at all. He showed me what he has, and uh, yeah, like I learned a lot from him, you know, like living this way. For now, like I don't wanna, I don't wanna ask for it. Like I don't wanna, wanna ask uh, for it because it's it's nicer. Yeah, like I don't, I don't wanna do it. Uh, it's like nicer when when people just like offer to, uh, and you know, like with the guy, you know, like he gave me some cigarettes. I didn't ask for it, and it's it's a really good feeling. Like people give you stuff, you know, because they want to. Uh, whereas like if you're asking asking for it, it's completely different. Uh, so that's why I don't wanna. I don't want to ask for it, but uh, yeah, I sent a message to the guy I was staying with, see if uh, I can leave like some things for sleeping that I'm gonna try to see if I don't have no need. Uh, just go like very like more more light lightweight, because uh, my my back my bag is quite heavy for all the stuff, so I'm, I'm gonna try that, uh, and then we'll see if I go there. Perhaps he'll offer me some food. Uh, perhaps not. But like I'm getting so many more ideas all the time. Like I'm, I'm changing. Like I'm relating to this all the time. Uh, like talking to the guy. Uh, yeah, that was the same guy that that got the breakfast today, <laughs> the the cafe, and then I ran into him on, on, on the beach. I'm not sure if he's like begging. I think so. And then I asked him about some things like he, he's doing, and he told me like different things. He's like he's doing like different kinds of things. And I realized that it's like it's a lot nicer when you to get get, get something when when you give something back. You know, so it's like, yeah, instead of like doing this whole just like receiving thing, you know, it's nice to, uh, to do something, you know. I'm, I'm actually not worried about like finding food. It's just like what I'm going through now. It's like, uh, you know, when you haven't eaten it for a long time and health is like really light and uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah, for me, like, it doesn't matter how much I have, apparently. Uh, if I have a lot, then I just spend it. Uh, if I have nothing, then apparently, like, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, I still haven't eaten. Uh, I, um, so, right after I asked you the question, I, I saw that I had some, some, uh, some jam <laughs> that the guy gave me with the biscuits. Uh, and then I was like, okay, I, okay let, let's go and ask for, like, just some little piece of bread with it. So I went to the bakery and they gave me like a little small piece uh, and then there was like no jam at all. Uh, but it didn't feel good to ask for it so I kind of, yeah, I think I decided that I'm not, I'm not going to ask for it. Like I'm just going to let it come to me, you know. 
and I really I really don't don't like to like ask for it but uh, and then yeah I was man it was uh, <laughs> it was pretty tough like I was really hungry really tired and I walked around I'm like okay yeah, like I think this is what I need to go through like I've been going through like okay like um, uh, with the sleeping outside in the rain and like the very like miserable conditions and it seems like I have to go through every everything uh, like really strongly uh, for to move on and I think like okay how much do I need to go through you know which is kind of scary and I was there it's like man and then I was really tired I took up my sleeping uh, mat and I slept on the beach and maybe I slept for like a couple of hours or something and then I woke up I was smoking a cigarette a guy gave me some tobacco uh, and uh, he asked for like a rolling paper, so like, oh, it has some tobacco, and then he gave me one, and then he just gave me some more, uh, like another you know, plastic bag, or like I put a plastic bag. And then there was this woman from Finland. I heard him speaking Finnish, a uh, couple with her kid. So I started speaking, uh, yeah, I started talking to her in Finnish, uh, but it was like so, it couldn't come out the Finnish. And uh, it was the same with French yesterday. I met a French woman, and at first it was like impossible to say anything at all, like it was just like Portuguese. But then like after a minute, like it just like unblocked and then it was like all back. Like, yeah, like the best French I've ever had actually. Uh, just like feeling really sharp. But then yeah, I was speaking to her, like trying to like speak the Finnish. <laughs> and then her husband came and he speaks Finnish and Swedish as well, so I like conversation. And then even though I didn't eat all day, like I only had a little piece of bread and yesterday like just sardines. Um, I still felt fine, you know? Uh, like I felt really weird before, but then I don't know, I just kind of went with it and then uh, I was talking to him and just like, uh, yeah, like having a really good conversation. And I think maybe that's what I needed, uh, like that connection. And um, yeah, again, like I didn't, I didn't want to ask him for anything, you know, I didn't want to ask him for food or nothing. I just wanted to like uh, come to me and then, you know, I guess however long I have to go hungry, I have to go hungry. But now I feel fine. Uh, I, re I really, uh, yeah, I, re I really feel fine. I'm getting so many ideas all the time, like this guy was really interesting. Uh, first he seemed like really neurotic and she was very neurotic, but he had been to like like 15 Vipassana retreats, like 20 days, and he's going to like the Amazons now and it was like really nice. And he, he told me about the guy who like biked up the beach all the way to Belém, which is, I don't know, it must be like 2000 kilometers, I don't know how long, um, but like very, very far away in the north of Brazil. So like, hmm, yeah, there's like, um, there's this other place, it's like, 20 kilometers away and then it's Porto Alegre 60 kilometers away I'm like hmm maybe I can walk you know it would be nice to get rid of some equipment I have, have a less heavy bag uh, to do that if I walk uh, but yeah there could be, an, could be an option but then when I after the conversation I was like feeling fine and then the, I, I didn't even feel way down you know I felt like physically 100% fine which is really weird because I didn't eat you know <laughs> like how is this how is this possible you know and I feel fine now and I think maybe I don't know, maybe it has to do something with like just deciding that I'm not gonna ask for it, just let it come and just like kind of accepting that I'm hungry now. So yeah, maybe I let go. So maybe I went through this with the food thing already. Now there's like the carnival starting today. I'm just gonna chill with people and just have fun and like, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna ask for it unless it feels really, really right to ask for it. But I really think I just wanna have it come to me. Like it was nice talking to him and I didn't want the conversation to have like a goal for me, you know, like the food or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I had like a really good, uh, yeah, a really good conversation with, with him. I, I believe in this magic, you know, and that's also, that's for, for me, it's like, okay, you, from, that's like why I can, that, that's like why I can do this, you know, why I'm fine with like not, not being, not, not going without food because you know, like whenever time is right, like it will come to me. You know, I really believe that. And uh, yeah, so that's why like I don't have to think ahead because I'm just thinking like what I need. And that's also why I'm thinking like, I've been thinking I need to go through this, you know? And also because I'm like trying out this like, does this really work? Because I've been seeing so much weird lately, you know? I'm like, I have to go with this because I have to like, you know, test this whole thing out. Like, yeah, like if this, like I'm acting like, like it's true, you know? And I believe in it, but I'll be like, I've been taking steps from like, okay, I'm really gonna test this out, like, does this, is there really this magic uh, to the world? Hey man, um, I will listen to your message later, I just want to tell you what happened tonight. Uh, so after I sent you a message, um, yeah, I went to this like uh, little square in the center 
and uh, I went to sit down, uh, maybe had some water first or something, I don't know. <laughs> but I went to sit down there um, and I saw my, 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 my friend that I met uh, at the beach, uh, the guys like sleeping on the beach. And uh, yeah, we were like hanging out. And then, you know, I'd barely like eat for two days. Like today, like a little piece of bread and yesterday, like one small can of sardines, you know? Uh, and yeah, so I was like quite starving, but like feeling okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then I was like, okay, I just wanted to wait, you know, and just like let it come to me, the food. Uh, but I felt like I had to kind of tell him. So I said, yeah, I told him like how much, because I thought, like, okay, what would I really want? Like, what would I really want to eat? And it was like this hamburger place uh, in this, like, uh, in a food truck, sort of. Uh, or, yeah, it looks sort of, I mean, yeah, like this fast food, uh, so it looks sort of like a food truck. And I was like, man, a hamburger there with some fries and a Coke, like, that would be perfect. That's, like, exactly what I, what I would want. And so, uh, yeah, I was thinking something else, but then later, like, I thought a, a Coke it was, like, perfect. And then, uh, yeah, I was like telling him like, man, I, w I, would, I would love that so much. Uh, and I told him that I don't have money. And I told him, uh, I didn't tell him that I hadn't eaten. Um, I, don't, I don't think I, I told him that. Uh, but I was like, I would love that. Uh, but I said, I don't, I don't like to ask for it. And he was like, yeah, I will, I will help you get it, he said. And then we're sitting there forever, forever, forever. You know, I'm like feeling okay, but it's like, uh, it's sort of getting to me that I haven't eaten. And then, at some time, uh, a guy walks by that he knows. And they, they talk like very shortly to each other, I don't understand what they say. But then it's like, he gives me a thumbs up, it's like, yeah, you're gonna get food. Uh, and yeah, I, th I think I'd said I didn't eat like that day, but it was like, yeah, he knew I was like very hungry. Uh, yeah, and then he said like, yeah, this guy has a restaurant uh, and he's gonna give, uh, give some food. And then more times go by, more times go by, and I'm like, I started to feel it, you know, because now it's like, it a little bit feels like teasing because the food is like right around the corner. And I'm like, I just want it, I've been waiting so long, so like, now I'm getting really hungry. And he's like talking to the scene, they're like, okay, I'm so hungry. <laughs> and then the guy comes by, it's like, yeah, it's like almost finished, you can go there. He goes and gets the food, and it's like two uh, sticks of, uh, of like some, some cow's meat. Uh, with a little bit of salad and some things like dip, uh, dip it in. Like it's not so much, but actually he told me it cost uh, 36 reais, which is like quite expensive here for a meal, because you can get a meal at a cheap restaurant for like 12 reais. And a lot of times you can get a hamburger for like 10 reais, uh, or like 10, 12, something like that. So uh, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite an expensive meal. So I eat that, and then, and then he's like writing me stuff on like, because we, we've been talking like Portuguese the entire time, um, but then I want to tell something that I write it on Google Translate and I say like I just need a he's trying to like write me things I'm telling like look I just need a moment like this is a very spiritual thing for me this moment I just want to like feel it and I write that and then like I stand up and try to like feel into it you know like what does this mean uh, like this moment like everything you know about it and then while I'm like and I'm walking around like pacing around a little bit and then a guy comes up with me together with a guy that I met yesterday and that yeah I was with yesterday and then he says like he talks English like do you have anywhere to sleep tonight I'm thinking like yeah, well actually yeah I do uh, or first I say no but then I'm thinking like well no but I'm gonna go with this this guy you know uh, the guy from the beach like he's going to go and stay wherever he's staying on the beach you know uh, because yeah it's like really nice uh, yeah we have like a nice connection and you know would be cool to like uh, go with him, he can show me where to be. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm fine for tonight. Like, uh, tomorrow, I don't know. And it's like, okay, I, I know someone. And I'm telling him, I understand, like, okay, it's like a room to pay for. I say, like, I don't have money. And then it's like, wow, what? Like, what? What are you doing? Like, tell me, like, what is happening? I'm like, I can tell you so much. And I'm thinking, I'm still hungry and I really want that hamburger. So I tell him, like, look, I don't like to ask for this, but like, I'm actually really hungry. I would love to tell you, like, everything. Uh, about what I'm doing, about this story, about like this whole thing, everything. But I would really appreciate a hamburger. And it's like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, we, we can do it. Come, come. And we go there. He gets me the hamburger with a coke. And he gets hamburger. I'm like, can I get a coke as well? <laughs> and he gets me hamburger with a coke. And uh, uh, yeah, then we we go and uh, to like meet his meet his wife. 
And uh, yeah, I start to tell him like the story and then we go back to the camera is ready, we sit down, we eat. And yeah, I start telling the story uh, of uh, this. And then while we're sitting, he's like, uh, like I'm gonna order some fries as well. So yeah, I got, <laughs> I got the hamburger with the fries and the Coke. And now we're like all hanging out. Uh, it's really nice, I'm really full. Uh, so <laughs> it was like really nice. Oh, and he accepted, he offered also to take both of us because this guy like doesn't have money, no, he's living on the, uh, sleeping on the beach. Uh, and uh, yeah, like this woman, I met him at a cafe when the woman was buying, uh, buying him uh, coffee and uh, like some breakfast. Um, yeah, that was the guy I told about before that I, I was sitting with. And uh, yeah, and this guy now that off me hamburger, he says, uh, yeah, we'd like to take you guys out for lunch tomorrow. Uh, this is a really nice restaurant uh, with, uh, with crab. I'm not sure if I want to eat crab, but uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, we'd like to, I'd like to invite you there. We're meeting up, uh, yeah, tomorrow, like 12 uh, for, uh, for lunch. Yeah, this guy is, uh, is, is very generous. Uh, and he was like buying beer to people yesterday. Uh, I, I said no, I didn't want a beer. But it was like buying to this, this other guy, like a street seller, kept buying him beer and uh, yeah, now he's offering this. Yeah, I, lo I lost the homeless guy. Uh, I don't know where he went, so I don't know if it's, he's gonna come. Uh, so yeah, maybe it's me and them. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> like uh, <laughs> yesterday, <coughs> man, I. Um, when uh, after we were like we were so full we had eaten and we had like the restaurant planned uh, planned today at 12 and then he kept asking people for uh, uh for money like on the way and i was like what are you doing like what are you doing like we just ate we're full we have a restaurant planned tomorrow you know like you don't need anything right now just you know like there's no need to ask i was telling like just you know when the moment comes i was trying to teach him like <laughs> when the moment comes you know, he, then you asked for it. He's like, yeah, but I want a, I want a coffee in the morning. And some, you know, I want a coffee for the morning, like for some breakfast. And I was like, yeah, but when the moment comes, then you ask for it. And, you know, if you need it, you will receive it, you know. <laughs> but actually, it's like, I see that it's really f***ing with him to go around asking all the time. It's really f***ing with him because I see that he's like doing it all the time. So people in general, like, he's really, really charming, like, and he's got a really good heart. I can see and like he's, he's, he's like there. And I can see like he's an intelligent guy, but he keeps on asking people all the time. And like we went to, we went to a bar and they asked for beer and they gave, they gave us, they gave, they gave us both beers. And this woman gave us cigarettes. And I was telling people when he was asking like for me as well, I was just telling like, no, no, I don't need anything. Like I'm fine. Like he walked up to, to some girls at a table. It's like, uh, and saying, saying about me as well, I'm like, no, 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 I don't need anything. And then the next one, I was like, no, I don't need anything. And the third one was like, dude, why do you keep saying that I need something? I need nothing. You know, like I have everything I need. Uh, it's fine. And uh, yeah, but I can see like it's, I can see it's with him because he's going around all the time. It's like, he has so many interactions. We suggest about him wanting something. So, so people, you know, seem like this, like, oh, like here's this guy who, who just wants something all the time. And then I think that kind of gives him more and more of like a self image of like people don't not really caring about him, like not wanting him around. And then the more he gets that image, then it's like, okay, then he can't get like the, the real connection. He can't get the real friendship with people. But what he can get from people is like something, you know, like a beer, a cigarette, a meal, money. And uh, yeah, I think it's like a, it's like a, it's like a vicious, vicious spiral, you know. It's actually not that I don't appreciate, like, I, I really do appreciate, like, good things. I appreciate a lot, like, um, uh, having, like, nice things. I appreciate a lot, like, a nice meal. I appreciate a lot, like, everything money can buy. And, um, like, today I'm still with the, the people uh, that I had lunch with. And then I was, I was uh, in the, like, they're renting, like, a posada, like, a really nice one. And I was like, wow, this is so amazing, to, like, you know, have money and, and stay here. But at the same time, right now like i didn't want money to spend on myself it's really weird i just feel like there's something yeah it's like it's more like a spiritual thing i need to go through and pass through 
And I really want to, like, I really want to, like, get in the mindset of, like, accepting money and accepting, yeah, like, even, like, ex yeah, I would like to get the mindset, like, uh, accepting, like, abundance with money, you know, like, a lot. It's just, I'm learning so much from this. It's incredible. There's so much, so much, so much. I feel like it's been to this point of been like going through all the hard stuff, but I think I I wonder if maybe I've gone through all of it now, like going really hungry yesterday and just accepting it, like being fine with it. And I felt like I've gone through everything like once and I'm, I moved on. And uh, now I don't know if it's anything more, but now it's more like one thing is like learning to to not always having to buy something, you know, like which I can't or or just. Yeah, it's more like a spiritual thing, you know? And just like accepting good things and just being like really, just like learning how to be really grateful, and like accepting good things to come, you know? And just, yeah, accepting things to come our way. And the thing is that with money, like you take all these things for granted, you really do. Like you have money, you go buy pizza, you don't appreciate. But you know how much you appreciate it like when someone gives it to you and you'll have? Yeah, it's crazy. So like learning all these things and just allowing people to like, and if they're happy to like offer, offer it to me, like like happily accept it, you know. It's things like this, and it's like letting go, you know, these things. But I think I'm leaving this place. Uh, it's been a really cool, cool experience. I think, um, yeah, I think it's it's time to move on. Uh, I think I, I got what I needed uh, from this place, and uh, yeah, now I got so much food today. Like uh, the guy took me to a restaurant. Uh, we didn't have the lobster, but I had like really good uh, yeah, chicken with some other stuff, really good. And then um, yeah, his girlfriend uh, cooked <laughs> for me now at night, and then uh, yeah, he gave me a twenty real bill actually. Uh, and um, yeah, when we said goodbye, I wanted to go and like kind of experience the night. Like it's a carnival now. The carnival is like canceled, but it's still like a party. But uh, yeah, then I walked into town, and yeah, first it was like it's so empty. It's like nothing going on. And then I was walking. I was like, I just got this feeling like, hmm, I think it's time to move on. And like super dead everywhere. And uh, yeah, there was like a party, but there was like that's was like empty. And I was just like, had this feeling like, okay, yeah, I think it's time to move on. I've been going to a couple of restaurants, asking for food. And then I went to the baker twice, asked for bread. And hanging out with that guy yesterday, I was like asking people uh, for stuff. And then with me also, like asking like three different people, you know, it's a small place, people talk. Uh, and yes, and like thinking about that, it's like, okay, like I don't want to have this like uphill battle. If this small place are about talks with this guy just asking for things all the time and uh, yeah and I was thinking it's time to yeah time to move on so I think tomorrow I'll probably I'm gonna go back to yeah he's, he's my friend uh, go back to him where I left my bag and he was like when I left it there and then they gave me some food to take with me then I left it in the fridge they're like cool then we can like uh, yeah then you come back tomorrow we can you know cool then uh, you know, we can hang out. And so, yeah, I'm thinking tomorrow, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna send him voice message now, just say like, we can have like a coffee, maybe go to the beach, have a swim, and then, uh, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna head, head north somewhere. I'm starting now, actually. <laughs> the sun was coming up, and I was just like, yeah, why not just go right now? So, I'm just like using the Wi-Fi at the first place I was staying. It's right like on the edge of the town, uh, on the north side. And now I'm just gonna start walking north uh, and see what happens. But uh, yeah, I've been out now walking for two days. And uh, yeah, so I left uh, <laughs> the town uh, by, by sunrise. I just like, I got the idea like to leave a few, few hours before and then I just left at sunrise. I was like, hey, it's time to leave. And I fill up a water bottle. I had uh, like the guy gave me 20 rice that I was hanging out with because he just wanted to give it to me. And I was talking so much about like science and about the world not being real and everything. And then he was like, because he took me to a restaurant, him and his girlfriend. And then he uh, he said he took it as a sign that the guy would have like accept this 20 rice. 
And he was like, okay, it's a sign to give it to you. He, he thought that, and then, yeah, he gave it to me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was really, really nice of him. I spent 10 of it on like, some, <laughs> some chocolate and cigarettes, and I had 10 left. And then, uh, yeah, so I started walking with my 10 rides. I, I drank a, a, a ton of water I could, filled up my water bottle, and I started walking. I had no idea like where I would walk. I didn't know what it would look like. I just knew like, okay, I'm just gonna start walk, walking north. And yeah, this experience has been amazing. And you know, for a few days, like I was without food for a couple of days, but that was because I didn't want to ask for it. And now I've been like, whenever I've been hungry, there's been a lot of like people making barbecues and stuff. Whenever I'm hungry, I just like, been walking up to like, there's like extended family, there's like people cooking and stuff. And it's be like, hey, can I get some food? And every time they've been so happy to give it to me, you know? And like, it's really happy to meet me and things really interesting, like talking with someone from somewhere else. And I'm learning a lot of Portuguese, like I'm, being, I'm able to like have conversation with them. And yeah, they're an amazing experience. Like I've been offered more food uh, than I need. Uh, like la last night I was hungry when I got to the place and then I didn't want to ask the guy who was there with his family. I could have asked him like, hey, do you have some food? Because I see that as long as I'm asking straight out, like without like a shame for it, like it feels, it feels okay. And, uh, and people like happy to give it to me and then like happy to meet me and talk. And uh, yeah, the guy yesterday, like I spoke some with his kids like one of his kids was like 10 learning a little bit of english i could talk a little bit with him and i think it was cool for them to like meet a foreigner to see that it's like like a guy who's just like walking along the beach you know and uh, like in another country so i think it's cool for them to see that hey i mean i could actually do that one day like i could go to some other country i can learn the language and then i can be out like traveling going on adventures you know and just seeing that it's like they saw obviously that i'm not from there you know <laughs> they can hear it and uh, but it's like it's okay like it's fine you can get by and you can just ask like someone for uh, yeah just ask someone for help if you need it uh so yeah i met so many people like everybody's been happy to meet me like yeah like offering me more food than i need like i've been turning down food yesterday <laughs> and today uh so yeah it's my second day and now today it kind of hit me that yeah i want to make it to the city Cariba, uh which is going to be like a three hour three days walk so i'm going to be there tomorrow uh yeah, so I'm gonna walk some more today, I think. This, but the sun is coming down soon, and then uh, make it there. Uh, yeah, make it there tomorrow. Uh, but then I would really like to. Yeah, I would really like to start welcoming money. You know, like I see that I'm like hung up, and I want to kind of realize like why it's in like why I want to be without money. I think it's because I want to see that I'm like taken care of anyway. Uh, and that's why I said like you need the money more than me because. I don't know, my experience has been like, I'm really fine without it. Uh, but yeah, I would like to just like welcome money and see like what's holding me back. And I think like once I welcome it, it's very possible it's just like gonna come to me, you know, by like, you know, getting some idea and like following up or, uh, you know, wh whatever, whatever ways it can be. I just followed my, my feeling and, um, you know, man, I just went all the way. It's, it's so amazing to think about i just i just like when i left uh, kumuro shatiba when the sun sunrise came i didn't even think about it i just had a day a few hours before to leave and then the sun come like a sun uh, rise came i was like okay uh, i'm just gonna go uh, <clears throat> with the <laughs> with henry eyes just fill and just a little bit of the french fries and uh, yeah just filling up on water bowl and just go like i didn't even look at the map uh, i didn't know how far i was gonna go i didn't know where the next city was i didn't know what the train is gonna look like i didn't know what was gonna come my way i didn't know i didn't even think about it you know how i was gonna eat or nothing i just had a feeling and i followed it and then i had an abundance of food people gave me more than i needed i had an abundance of water i guess a little bit i was thirsty but that was because I had walked and then I was like, okay, and I took a long nap because I hadn't slept all night. I was really tired. And then, yeah, I woke up, I was still tired. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna sleep here. And I woke up and it was like just getting dark. I'm like, what the f am I doing? I have to keep walking, I have to find water. And I walked, I came to a restaurant and like everything just like, you know, fell into place. I just came there the exact same moment a guy came out. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think he was working there and I asked him like for his water. And it was like, I think outside where you can just have as much water as you want. And then everything just fell into place, you know? I just kept walking and then at one point I walked by like it was just like empty 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 forever you know and then uh, they told me like uh, and, and then I met someone who told me like you have to leave before this hour or you're not gonna be able to pass and then I came yeah and then I walked and walked and I said like it's seven kilometers of just walking with nothing nothing I walked it's just like deserted like no people uh, for like seven kilometers 
So I just walked fast, you know, and just drank of the water before. And then, I don't know, somewhere along that, there was like this five star thing, you know, like this really like expensive place, like in the middle of nowhere, uh, like super fancy, like for like millionaires. And then I want a cigarette, so I walked up to them, like just asked for a cigarette, and they gave me, they gave me a beer. I don't really like to drink anymore, because uh, like I, I prefer being clear, or like throughout this, I've been wanting to be clear. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, because I don't really like know it, like what it does for mood. Like I prefer just uh, yeah, be clear. And uh, yeah, they gave gave me that. And then this this woman told me like, okay, yeah, you have to watch the tides because you're not gonna be able to pass. And I thought like, yeah, that's a good idea. But then I didn't see her. And like, and then instead of like looking for, looking for like when is the right time to pass, I just thought like, okay, now it's time to go, and it just went. And I walked like on these rocks, and the water, like, I don't know if I was gonna be able to pass, and I was getting wet, like walking on this, like waiting for the waves, and then I came to the end. I didn't know what the tide is gonna be like, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be stuck there, whatever. But I just kept walking, and then I came to a point where I couldn't, and then I walked back, and I had to like climb this little hill to get up to, to walk on the grass, like over the cliff, you know, like 10 meters high or something. And I was walking up and I was like, thinking like, this is a bit dangerous, but I just felt like this is what I have to do. And I walked up, you know, just, you know, like I, I was a bit afraid, but I was like, okay, this is what I have to do. Uh, just, uh, yeah, thinking this is what I have to do. And then after that, it was like clear, like smooth sailing. And then I found some people with food when I was hungry. And I was just like, uh, they, uh, you know, I was like, hey, I'm hungry. And they gave me food and they were so happy to meet me and like we exchanged contacts. Uh, and there were so many people on that. And then I got like more food than, offered more food and then I could eat, you know? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what more to say. <laughs> yeah, by the way, um, yeah, every, everything that I needed to get out of like this moneyless experience, everything I needed, I, I, I did, I learned. And uh, now I don't have to, I don't need to be without money anymore. Um, I can really step into abundance with money now. Um, and yeah, I'm ready to, I'm ready to really receive.